I'm here today to talk about media monitoring company Icentia. We've just initiated coverage with an ad recommendation and a 43 cent price target. It's not every day you get to buy a dollar for 50 cents, but I think this is one of those opportunities. Admitted, admittedly, it does have a lot of dirt on it, which is why people can't see the true value, but therein lies the opportunity. So I think the key question for Icentia is why are we paying attention to this stock now? The answer is they've got a clearly enunciated plan to create value, but the market doesn't appear to be believing it. So if you look at management's aspirational targets, they are to virtually double EBITDA from the current levels. And if that happens, you'll make multiples um, of, your, of the current share price. So a lot of upside if they hit those targets. Uh, in reality, that does seem like a stretch target to me, but the point is they've got a target to change this business and return it to growth. In stark contrast, if you back solve um, based on the share price, it looks to me like investors are expecting earnings to drop by a further 40%. So there's a big, big margin of error in this stock, which is why we're taking a close look at it. Um, as I said, in reality, um, the truth probably lies somewhere in between. We expect this company that earnings will trough this year and then return to some modest growth thereafter. Um, but there's a lot going on in this business, so you probably need to have a little look at the research to understand where it's come from and why we think they can turn the tide on this. Um, but as I said, huge margin of error here. We think the stock is worth 80% more than the current share price uh, based on this year's earnings alone. And then the question becomes, what do the earnings look like in the outer years? But we're comfortable with that margin for error. Um, as I said, our base case is that their aspirational targets won't be met in the time frame that they're aiming for. We do expect earnings to hit the bottom this year in terms of um, EBITDA and then return to growth um, thereafter, modest growth, and that creates um, the upside risk. So we think it is an asymmetric bet here. Lots of upside if they succeed, limited downside if they don't succeed because this is a cash generating business. Um, so I'll refer you to the research. On page five, there's five key points why it's worth having a closer look at Icentia, which we've initiated coverage uh, with an ad and a 43 cent price target. Thanks.